Hi everyone. I'm Andrea. I'm Samantha. And we are the, the Willin, Willin Women. Willin? You and Molly with the Willin. Well, <laughs> she's in dog. here. Now she's here in spirit. I know. You embodied her with the Willin Women. All right, ready? All right. All right. Hi everyone. I'm Andrea. I'm Samantha. And we are the, the Willin, Willin Women. Women. We are a crafty but crazy bunch. We're normally made up of three woolen women, but this week one woolen woman is down for the count because she threw her back out. I was going to say she tore her back. <laughs> Nobody tear. Well, no, no she didn't die. Tear her back. Good. No, she didn't. No, it's like sciatic sure. pain. Anyway, she can't move. She's immobile. Um, that's fine for a knitter. So she's sitting with some ice and heat, and she has thrown her back out. And was not able to make it here to podcast. So we are at Samantha's and two of the woolen women shall carry on. So what are you drinking? I am drinking, is this caffeine or decaf? You made it. <laughs> we, have to, we have to stay up late. It's decaf. Is it I de mean, it's caffeine. <laughs> I was like, wait, did you just say decaf? No, no, I meant it's caffeine. No. It's caffeine. I do opposites. I do decaf in the morning and I do caffeine after five o'clock to stay awake. Why? To stay awake, of the course. The decaf in the morning, I meant. Because I homeschool all. D oh, because of my heart. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. She gets severe heart palpitations. I still think it's anxiety, but you never know. Caffeine doesn't make that better, so we just give it a chance to wake up in the morning. So sorry, we are a little late as usual. Um, we're working on that. We usually try to wait for mommy because, you know, we want the three woolen women here, but we may start. Um, doing some weeks where only two of us can make it or, you know, uh, switching off and on. Like last episode, it was just me and my mom. So, um, and if you're new and you don't know who we are, um, three of us make up the Woolen Women. We are identical twins and we podcast with our mom. Um, we knit, we crochet, well, some crochet, not too much crochet, but we knit, we do cross stitch. Um, I'm an indie dyer, she's a polymer clay maker, and my mom makes project bags. So, uh, together we are a crafty bunch. We love all things crafty, and we love to share them with you. So, welcome if you're new. Uh, if you're joining us again, we welcome you back, and we thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like this video if you like what you see, and subscribe to our channel if you want to get daily updates on when we come out with a new podcast. And if you haven't checked out episodes of our stitching, we also do uh, the Seashore Stitchers on this same Woolen Women channel. So if you want to see our stitching projects, then head over to look at our uh, Seashore Stitchers episodes to see all our stitching. So this will be primarily knitting as usual. So what are you working on? Any whips? Um, This one, I think I've messed up though. Yep, I mess up mine all the time. The, the lace says, work, I usually just make it up. It says to to the last wrapped stitch, but... Oh, you don't know where your wrapped stitch is? Mm. I've never done them. So she's doing wrap and turns. She's doing the Pure Joy shawl. Who is this by? Pure Joy? Uh, Hoagie. Is it? I think so. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's it on the tip of my tongue. I'm between that and Andrea Mallory. Why is that? I think it's definitely Hoagie. Yeah, yeah Hoagie Lowitelli. Working on this forever. So Hoagie Lowitelli, um, Pure Joy Shawl. And you're doing it in what? One of the Steel Toes pieces yeah. from the Legacy. Legacy Fiber Arts. Fiber Arts. Um, I really like that color, honestly. It's like blues. What's the darker blue one that you're using? The so the darker blue is Madeline Tosh's Wash House. Oh, okay. All right. I remember that one. Um, I remember. So what yeah. do you mess up on? You don't know where your wrap and turn is? or your um, wrap Yeah, but I think I'm just going to... Oh. So I, I've only dabbled in wrap and turns. I haven't really done them. Um, I am working on a well, sweater. It looks like I marked it. something off right here. It's pulled, though. Yeah, because it's been Let's in be my careful. bag forever. Um, this might be it, so I'm just going to go there and do it and hope for the best. Yeah, I don't even know how to identify them. Um, so, but it looks good. You're not the, in the middle of a row, right? Let's no. Oh, careful. I see that to come off. There. Oh, boy. So, oh, 
We got a black oh, cat. Oh boy. Oh, kitty. Kitty. What? He's oh. right behind the cat. He's well, sniffing at phone. Come here. Oh, no, nope, he left. left. So, this is her you progress. Just dipped it in my tea. Did I? Just the threads. Oh, so. it's the threads. I'm sorry. Little tea never hurt nobody. It's looking good. It's got like this wave pattern that kind of goes. I really like that. And that but I wonder if now I'm going to get it correct because my wrap and turn is missing. Oh, you'll be fine. I really am just going to do it That's marked. There. That has to be it. We did this at the beach the last time, didn't I we? I know. It was a hot mess. So now I don't know what I did. And I thought I did know what I did, but I didn't. Well, that's fine. Because when I put it down, I just, I lose everything. So, um... Do you have any other whips? Do you have your, what about some oh, of your charms I, or um, yeah. what you want well, me to I go have, with my hand knits before I you do that? I have this sock. This is in Madeline Tosh Nights in Chile and it's got gold. Selena. Selena. So beautiful. That. So guys, this has been in my bag for a year. I have major sock syndrome and I have one sock for a whole year. Like what is wrong with me? And I want to wear it so bad. Like, I do. It's such it's a nice great It's nice, too. Sock. It's like wigwam. She made the top, yeah. like, a little more. I really love it, and I haven't made the other one. It's with a fish lips kiss heel. Maybe that's, like, a twin thing. And a because... Turkish cast on at the toe. Because I, um, it's just a vanilla knit sock, right? I don't know what that means. It's just, like, when you just knit. Um, yeah, until I got to the ribs. Yeah. yeah. But it was my first sock ever, so I did that. So that must be a twin thing because I only ever knit one sock also. Oh good. We should just I'm it's thinking rough. I just put them together and I honestly like I love knit socks so much that I don't feel like I need two matching ones. So I would, we're just gonna I'm that one person sock that would each. wear one of each and I like care. it. You should do yeah. that. Yeah. What other plan could I have for me who doesn't finish socks? And then we have got an exclusive character. Oh your other way. Oh, I wish they could see the detail. Let's see if they He's can. scrumptious. I mean, just scrumptious with his little purple eyes. He has, like, a f his forehead is, like, just slightly dirty. Like, he looks like Beetlejuice, like the dirty, grungy Beetlejuice. He just doesn't pick it up or do it justice on camera, but he's grungy. And he's great. Right. Okay, turn let's turn the lights off and see if it works. Let's turn that little one near the kitchen off first. Which one? Oh my, oh Is he my. glowing? <gasps> he glows! Oh my. Oh, he's great! So his outfit and his face glow. Oh my gosh, he's great. Yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. We're going to give you guys a chance to win one. So I'm thinking that the first person to type his name three times in the comment box, you got to be first though. Okay, type his name three times and you will win him. Domestic only, okay, in the United States. And whoever comments his name three times in a row wins. Let's get Sookie out. This was released yesterday and it's Sookie Stackhouse with some true blood. Oh, the true blood. She's serving it up, you know, serving up that true and blood. And she's been bitten. And she's been the card thing might help. I hope so. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. No. <laughs> Look, she's been bitten on she's the side of her neck, the neck there. And then, let me see if I can turn this for you. Yeah. So she's and that is shop. true blood. It actually says true blood on there. Adorable. There's her little bit and neck. Wait, what blood type is it? It says it at the bottom. Blood type? Yeah. Everybody look out. B because, negative. Yeah, B negative. That's funny. B negative blood. So if you're a true blood fan, oh my gosh. Check these out. Bit and neck. Looks like Sookie Stackhouse. And she's serving up some true blood. Very cute. So those are my new things. That's it for me. Okay. I have a finished object. Every time I look at her, I want to be like, it's okay. Yeah, because you have to. It's okay. So, yeah. if any of you have checked out my Instagram, you know that I have been working on the Age of Gold shawl in one of the newest Woolen Women Fibers 
um, colorways, one of my fall colorways, actually two of them, uh, the toasted pumpkin seed and the pumpkin spice colorway. So what better to do an age of gold shawl in? But here it is. Goodbye. No, I know. <laughs> no, it hasn't been blocked yet and I haven't tied in the ends. <laughs> but it is spectacular. It's going to be love so it. gorgeous. This is the toasted pumpkin seed as the main color. And I don't know if you can see it up close. It's got that toasty, pumpkin-y colors. It's like speckled. And then I did the pumpkin spice colorway as the lace. And I'm just loving this lace pattern. And again, this is the Age of Gold Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. Love this. Um, and I'll block it and it'll really bring out these little fans and all with the lace. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and of course, I have my little pumpkin seed on there. He's so cute. Just being chummy on a shawl. There he is. Oh. Oh, there he is. Being a little pumpkin seed on there. So this is my finished object. I can't wait to block it. For those of you who haven't checked out the PH Dyer Patreon, um, I showed my makes behind the scenes. Um, and I also show like my progress each week on a weekly blog. It's like a little making update. Um, yeah, and I, I kind of show you like why I picked my colors and there's a lot of discussion and I'm also starting knit nights. I'm going to have my first one at the end of August and we are all going to knit together. So if you haven't checked out my Patreon, <clears throat> check that out and you'll get to see all my makes as well as um, the photo shoots. I'm going to do a photo shoot with my finished objects. I have two, this one and the birds of a feather shawl that I'm going to do a photo shoot with that uh, patrons get to see behind the scenes. There's that. And then I have yarny finished objects. Because, you know, I never have enough yarn. Okay. So I came out with, you sold all your things for this. Oh, yes, yes, I did. So these have Sammy Sews Creations progress keepers that go with them. Um, maybe I can dub in some pictures during this yeah, part of the discussion. Yeah. So, so I have some yarny goodies. I've gotten a brand new base in the shop. It is a um, 70-25, a superwash merino, nylon, and gold or silver Selena base. Uh, so everything is super sparkly for the spooky Halloween. Um, this is a touch of magic. So all those magic kind of colors on a silver Stellina. Pretty. And then I have a familiar. So if you don't know what a familiar is for um, Wiccan witchy type of people, it is uh, basically like your spirit animal, isn't it? So like this one's like a black cat. It would be like one of those, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch has her black cat. That's a familiar. Uh, so I did the black cat colorway. It's on a gold Selena, and it has like this super uh, bright green for the eyes, like the cat eyes, and then black for the black cat, obviously. Then I have Barefoot Through the Forest. If you think of witches, you think of like forest um, gatherings, like coven gatherings, and like forest kind of witch herbalism type feel. So this is Barefoot Through the Forest. This is also on a gold Stellina base. It has beautiful greens and browns. All the foresty colors. Sorry, am I in your way? No, I was looking for my pen. Oh, I just had it here. Oh. I have, um, this is like the black, the black lit candle, is that what it's called? Black flame candle. Black flame candle, yes. I don't have words today. Um, and this is called Casting and Candles. And so I took the idea of like a flame and gave it like these golden, like 
flame colors, like golden, That's one of my yellows. favorite ones. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I can't wait to see how this knits up. And then, of course, the black for the black candle. And this is also on a gold Stellina base because it catches those golden tones of a lit candle. Then we have, remember how I talked about, like, herbalism and alchemy with witches? Um, it came up with herbs and incantations. This one is on a silver Selena base, and it is heavily speckled with different herby colors, um, like blues and purples, greens, sages, browns. It's very herb-based colorway. This one's been really popular, the herbs and incantations. Um, this one is clairvoyance. One of my favorites. It's on a gold Selena base. Of course, you can get it in silver or whatever you'd like. Um, and it's like the fortune teller type red, like crystal ball. You picture that red fortune teller kind of um, curtain that you go behind to get your fortune told. And clairvoyance is the ability to like see into the future type thing. So this is clairvoyance. Yeah, this would make an excellent sweater. I'm thinking about making a Spellman sweater out of this. That would be great. So yeah, these are the new ones. Um, in addition to the new base, you can get these on any of my usual bases. Um, Woolen Women Fibers has developed an abundance of different bases from cashmere to BFL to um, just normal superwash 100% or 80-20. So you can get these on anything you want. But I did like them on Sparkle, and I would suggest getting them on Sparkle. Hole. You have a hole. Yeah, look. It's my wrap and turn now. I think a wrap and turn is supposed to have a hole, because don't you purl them together to have a gap, to close the gap? No, I, I really don't think so. I've done it so well, many times. what makes these holes? This is an eyelet pattern. That's yeah, but there. you're not doing that right now? No, these are yarn overs. I would suggest knitting them together. Yeah to close the gap. what I did. I don't know. Okay, um, I have some whips that I'm working on. Uh, so if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen I've been doing a collaboration with Diva Knits on her new weave and fade pattern. I had mailed her one set of the jewel toned because I came out with two jewel toned sets of yarn for these and I had kept this one and cast it on my shawl and so I have a little progress done I think I got your purple heart on there it looks great with it um and this is the beautiful fabric it makes it's like a basket weave pattern almost it does look woven which is pretty cool um, so yeah, I have a small beginnings of a shawl. Uh, I really do like the colors, don't you? It's yeah. going on me. Like oh, I, yeah. At first I like got no, a little No, I actually weird. love it. Yeah, I got a little weird over the yellow, but then like as it faded, I really liked it. Um, so if you haven't checked these out, I've actually had a price reduction on these kits. I also sell kits for the Age of Gold shawl. That's had a reduction as well. Um, so if you want these colors, and you can switch out and pick your main color and your accent color. Uh, but if you want to knit an Age of Gold shawl in those colors, because they're golden and they're wonderful, check out that in the shop. So this is my progress on this shawl. I don't think I'm going to work on this as much, because it, for me, I've been wanting garter, like just mindless knitting. And this is like one of those fun patterns that keeps you on your toes. You do have to really pay attention when you're knitting it. And it is an absolutely gorgeous turnout. Like once you've knitted it, you never want to stop knitting it because, I mean, look at it. It's awesome. But right now I'm craving garter. But I think now that I've looked at it, I kind of have to knit it again. So now I'm kind of into it. I love so the purple So you may be seeing color. a lot more. Yeah, I'm kind of really liking the purples, and I really think I'd like that for fall. So, but she came out with the most beautiful pattern. Um, I believe it's her first pattern. And so we collaborated, and that's what we came up with. She loves jewel tones, um, and she's like, 
this is what I like. And I was like, okay, well, I'll get it done. And I made up a couple options for her and we got them out. So uh, check her out. She is Diva Knits on Instagram. Um, and I believe she's Diva Knits on Ravelry as well. So she's a really talented designer. I know she's got a few more things in the works and she's going to be coming out with some awesome things in the future. Um, and if you haven't checked it out already, uh, she's just rebooted her podcast, and she's an excellent singer. She's, I believe she's a vocal. She's a fellow PhD. Oh, I'll have to watch that. Yeah, she's a fellow PhD, but I believe she has her PhD in, like, performance or arts, some kind of vocal, because she's a vocal professor, I think. Mm. Um, so check her out. She's a fellow PhD that I absolutely adore. She is wonderful, and she is super fun to watch. So she's Diva Nets on YouTube on her podcast. I believe she calls it Dishing with the Diva. That's Very cute. cute. I love that. So yeah, now I'm going to have to knit on that. See, now I want to put this down and knit on that. It's a struggle. Okay. Another whip. Sorry, Smith. <laughs> right, I run the page. Knitting away, I you know? have a lot. <laughs> okay, so I have my Veter shawl. Sorry, I am in the middle of a row. I know. Struggle is real. I do that all the time. I know, and you really shouldn't. It's awful. Really? I love uh, it. I do it. Wait, this candle's going to light us on fire? Let yeah, that. let's move that. Um, so I used my Virtue colorway in this mohair silk blend, and then I used my Japanese maple colorway as the contrasting color in an 80-20. And so right now I'm knitting this beautiful lace border pattern, which is also down here in mohair. Very pretty. Um, but I am loving this. It comes to like, uh, almost like angel wings and it comes out. It's very cool. So, uh, I'm excited. It'll be like a lightweight shawl since it has so much mohair in it, but it is super soft. And I think the Japanese maple is absolutely stunning. So that's going to be awesome. So that's another one I'm working on. And... I'm also working on a sheer VT. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, so I have Mother my, of Pearl, right? So this one's really hard to show because I'm attached by three yarn balls because it's an intarsia knitting project. I'm actually attached at all three. Oh boy. Yeah, it's rough. It's a bit tangled. It isn't though, it's fine. So you could just It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay. Here it is. Looking adorable. This is in the Mother of Pearl colorway. This is the discontinued until, sorry to be a tease, but this is discontinued maybe until next summer if I bring it back, but it's a beautiful, soft, pastel kind of colorway, like Mother of Pearl colors, and I also did the same thing in this mohair silk, which comes out almost sheer white on the camera, but it does have those blue and purple and pink hints in there. Um, and I have the back held currently, and I'm currently knitting the front panel. Um, so yeah, working on this. This should be a beautiful little sweater. That's how I'm done with it. Um, the V pattern was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. It's my first time doing that sort of um, shapement, like that, that V in a different base in that mohair. Uh, and first time I'm doing intarsia knitting, so it was a different sort of, normally you use it for color work, I think. But yeah, that was my first time doing it, so that oh, was new. Yeah. Say hi, buddy. Okay, last one for me. Oh, oh my yes. Um, such a good boy. And then this is my last whip. This is my half moon tee by Dragon Horde Yarns Designs. You must book it. And I've gotten just a tiny you bit more done. On the top here, so I've got my little boxes in there. I can't wait to get to the moons, the half moons. Uh, but this is that Northern Lights colorway in, uh, by Robin's Roost, and this black is, oh, did he die? Are you okay, buddy? He's fine. <laughs> wait, let's fix it. All the hair. He's okay. a little big, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is my black, which I use that as contrasting. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one too. It's a little crop. This might be Samantha's because she she might. It up. 
She's stealing it. If I what are you doing to my tomato, tomato plant? plant? Is he eating it? My cat eats all the plants. Can't have any. I have my plants all across the room. Okay. Now, he likes the tomatoes. Now, we're going to show Mommy's whips because they're epic. And she can't be here today. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. So, if any of you have seen our Instagrams or check out our Etsy shops, we have the steampunk sockets. And these are two of them. Which, actually, I sh should have brought my third one to show you the flying machine. This is the Gears and Cogs, and this one is the steampunk romance kit. Aren't they gorgeous? So, she's working on these socks, and she's doing a fantastic job. She's doing cuff down. And she used to be fish lips kiss heel like you did. That's my a nice heel. Yeah. Not like the only one. I, I know, may have to try that one. Now that I but know it, I know it, so I just haven't tried. Gorgeous. Any this is gears and cogs with an aether mini that you can see on the heel there, and this is the steampunk romance with a Victorian corset mini on the heel. And she's also going to make the toes that color too. These come in a BFL base. 8020 uh, BFL nylon. Oh, the needle got in there. Does she have one on here? Oh, yeah. We have some charms on there. These come with their own special You're charms. You're wrapped around those. Yeah, ones. I see that. These come with their own special charms, like this one would normally come with a corset. Um, but she looks like she's actually switched these out to the fall colorway one. She must love these. This is the charm that goes with clairvoyance it's like a little crystal ball and it matched perfect see the purple so she has that on there and the that's the one that it, glows yeah, yeah it actually glows in the dark guys so it's pretty awesome um and if you do spot this charm and you just want the charm and you don't want to buy the kit out of my shop check out uh sammy Sos creations on etsy and you can buy those so that's super cute if you want a little fortune telling added to your knitting um, and then we have on this one, one of the fall colorway charms. This came with my little red truck colorway. She has it on here. It is a little red truck. There we go. And it has pumpkins on the back for fall. So cute. So again, if you want just the charm, check out Sammy Sos Creations on Etsy. Um, if you would like the kit, check out Willow Women Fibers. Can we see him glow? Would you go turn the light off? Who is it? He glows? His whole outfit should glow. His outfit? Yeah. Let's his outfit his and light. his face. Wait, let me show her last one, and then we'll see if we can make okay. him glow. So her last one is actually for you. Oh, it's my wedding shawl. So mommy is still it's working so on her wedding shawl. I hand-dyed the yarn. This is in an 75-25... Um, superwash nylon base for the, actually for the lace portions, this one down here. And then she put a slub, a 90-10 slub base, and then this is that mohair silk blend. And so, Samantha wanted her colors to be like the slightest, like violet or lilac. And so that's what I did for the slub and for the 80, or 75-25. And then her mohair we left white. So this is the birds of a feather shawl, and it's coming out beautiful. It really is. But your wedding's been pushed up. Are you still going to have these colors? I don't know when it's going to be, to be honest, considering all the circumstances. So. Yeah, so we don't know. But it'll. it's white, so it's going to go great with your wedding dress regardless, I think. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, so that's her wedding shawl, and she's working on that. And then she has some finished objects, but those will be on the Seashore Stitchers, uh, as well as I have some stitching too, so check that out. Okay. I started a making journal, and I mostly am going to share this with my patrons, but if you haven't checked it out, check out the Patreon, and then you get all these behind-the-scenes things, but I'll show you just this one. I have a making journal, and so each time I finish a project, I'm going to put it in here. And I got this from, if anybody's ever seen Melody on the Mandarins podcast, I've been really loving her and she has a making journal and I just had to get one. So, sorry Mandarin. 
I had to have a making journal just like you. So, and I love it. So thank you for the idea um, because I think it's a wonderful one. So she really inspired me to make this journal. And I think Mommy's going to do one too. And maybe if we can convince Samantha, maybe she'll do one. But yeah, so I'm putting all of my finished... Why do we look cloudy? Because we're not focused. Oh, there we go. I'm putting all of my finished objects in here, along with the yarn that I use for each one. And then I think I'm also going to put my stitching in here, so that will be later on. I haven't actually put that in here yet. But I absolutely love this idea. It keeps track of my makes, and it's just so awesome to put everything down on paper. And I just love journaling. I'm obsessed with it. So again, if you haven't checked out Melody from uh, Mandarins, the podcast is called, um, she makes these beautiful, like dreamy videos of her life and she gardens and she has great ideas like that journal. So check her out if you have it. Okay, do you have anything else? No. Oh, just this tomato. Look what happened. I repotted my tomato plant and he lost one of his fruits. So I think we need to do fried green tomatoes with Fried it. green tomato. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't go But I had five tomatoes now. I only have four. I have zero tomatoes. But I, three. so when I broke it, I replanted my little stem. How did and you made break? It. Did you drop it? Well, I was putting the support system back over it and being an idiot and I broke it. Does it come with that support thing? Just like when I bought it. And then I like rigged it and I kept the support system, but I think he's outgrown it and it got stuck on his little uh, tomato and it broke it all. So I have some herbs going out too. And now that Samantha taught me how to water them properly, they're really doing well. Yeah. So we right? are driving now. Yes. They Very are. healthy. Yes. I just have mm. to learn to prune them a little more. I'm actually not pruning them enough. Oh, so. I don't, I wouldn't say I don't do a lot of pruning as because I just, you know, I'm mean, like harvesting them. Yeah, I Isn't mean, I haven't had a lot. No? So pruning, I guess you're a bit like taking off the uh, excess. Oh, okay. No, I meant yeah. like harvesting. I need to eat more of them so that they grow bushier. They're not really growing as much as I'd like. You got to cut your basil on the side. Yeah, so I'm cutting it's... it up top and then it grew really tall. No, you got to find a node on the side yeah. and cut it there. So that was dumb on my part because so I knew that. Be, I don't know why. So he can be bushy. I don't wow. know. The one thing I'm going to change is putting the eye hook at the very top. Why would you put it? See? I kind of like that because when it leans on the knitting, he's going to come forward. Mm, try it out. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. See, but when he lays like that, he comes. Yeah. Oh, my Even gosh. if I don't hold it, like, he's going to come so forward. Cute. There he is. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, but see, cute. when it hangs, it's going to hang. It's going to come down correctly. Yeah. He's, he's great. Bird. And he's so lightweight, he doesn't like weigh down the stitch No, all the all. polymer clay stuff, like some people will question, it's oh, weight. it's a little bigger. Like, it, it doesn't weigh down anything, and it's no, a... No, I love him. He's a The safe only piece. thing I've ever had things weigh down on is mohair. Like, if I did a lace pattern in mohair. But I mean, everybody knows... Yeah. You just can't hang things No, you mohair. should put you a delicate put stitch it. marker on Yeah, it. there's nothing you can do about that. You know, some bold prints or Besides something. Besides that, I've never had anything weigh anything down. Okay, so anything else you would like to share? Oh, we forgot the giveaway. Okay, so we have a winner. So if you don't remember what you're getting, um, if you commented on like your favorite fall colorway from the Woolen Women Collection for the last episode, uh, which we had five entries, five people did, um, and you entered to win a Kiss in the Dark in the 9010 Slub colorway. I don't have that here, sorry. I can put that on the screen. Um, so we picked a winner and Nitty Kitty 20932 on Instagram or Rhonda W. You are our winner. I see you all the time, Nitty yes, Kitty. Yes, Nitty Kitty. And thank you for joining our Woolen Women Knit Along, the first one ever. You're an awesome supporter. Yeah. Like, scholar share. So You've been wonderful. Things. So I'm so glad you won. We were really excited for you. Um, just DM me. And I will get your skein out to you. And thank you for watching. Okay. So if you haven't already, uh, if you're new, please subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. Um, if you're a, a patron that comes back regularly, thank you again for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, we are hoping that the other woolen woman 
makes an entry back into the podcast next episode. Otherwise, we're just going to keep switching out because there's three of us and it's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.